Hello everyone, I am Arabella. Welcome to this important discussion on information privacy including related laws in the Philippines. Every day, we share our personal information, whether it's logging into social media, making online transactions, or simply browsing the internet. But have you ever stopped to think, who has access to your data? How is it being used? And most importantly, how can you protect it? The digital age has made life more convenient, but it has also made us more vulnerable. Cybercriminals, unethical companies, and even government agencies may attempt to misuse our data. Information privacy is about our right to control how our personal information is collected, shared, and used. And when this right is violated, the consequences can be serious. Consider this. Data breaches, identity theft, and cyber crimes are on the rise globally. People have lost money, reputations, and even personal safety due to privacy violations. Without strong privacy protections, anyone could be a victim of fraud, blackmail, or surveillance. Why is information privacy important? Information privacy is not just a legal issue, it is a fundamental human right. Here's why it matters. First, protects personal freedom. Without privacy, people may feel monitored and restricted in their activities. Second, prevents identity theft. Cybercriminals can use stolen personal data to commit fraud. Third, builds trust in technology. When users know their data is protected, they feel more confident using online services. Fourth, Safeguards reputation. Leaked private information can damage a person's career and relationships, and lastly, ensures security. Governments, businesses, and individuals all need privacy to prevent cyber threats and unauthorized surveillance. Imagine how your life would change if all your private conversations, banking details, or location history were exposed. Would you still feel safe? This is why protecting our digital footprint is essential. What is the impact of information privacy on society? Information privacy doesn't just affect individuals, it has a major impact on businesses, governments, and society as a whole. Here's how, first is, for individuals. It protects against financial loss, online harassment, and surveillance. Next is, for businesses. It ensures customer trust, prevents cyber attacks, and complies with legal requirements. And last but not the least, for governments. It maintains national security while upholding citizens' rights. To ensure that every Filipino's privacy is protected, the government has enacted the laws, the Data Privacy Act of 2012, RA 10173. The Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012, RA 10175. These laws set clear rules on how personal data should be collected, stored, and protected, and they impose penalties on those who violate them. In this discussion, we will break down these laws, explore their key provisions, and look at real-life scenarios to better understand why protecting our privacy is essential. By the end of this session, you will have a clearer idea of how to safeguard your personal data recognize potential threats, and take action when your privacy is violated. Let's begin by understanding what information privacy really means. What is information privacy? Information privacy refers to the right of individuals to control how their personal data is collected, used, and shared. According to Roger Clark, this includes two key aspects, communication privacy and data privacy. Communications privacy is the ability to communicate without being monitored. While data privacy is the ability to control access to one's personal information. In simpler terms, information privacy allows us to decide who can access our data and how it should be used. Example scenario. Imagine Jane, a social media user, discovers that her private messages were accessed by a third party without permission. This is a clear violation of her information privacy. Now, 
let's discuss the major laws mentioned earlier in relation to information privacy. First is, the Data Privacy Act of 2012, or the RA10173. To protect Filipinos' data, the government enacted Republic Act No. 10173, also known as the Data Privacy Act of 2012. This law ensures that personal information, whether held by the government or private organizations, is handled with care. Key provisions of this law are as follows. First, rights of data subjects. Individuals can access, correct, and control their data. Second, obligations of personal information controllers, PICs, and processors, PIPs. Organizations must follow privacy rules. Third, data protection principles. Transparency, legitimate purpose, and proportionality must be observed. And lastly, penalties for violations. Criminal and administrative penalties for data breaches. Example scenario. Mark signed up for an online shopping app and provided his email. Later, he started receiving marketing emails from unknown companies. This is a possible data privacy violation because his personal information may have been shared without his consent. Next, we have Republic Act No. 10175, or the Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012. This law punishes various online crimes, including identity theft, hacking, and data privacy breaches. Key provisions related to information privacy. First, illegal access, hacking. Unauthorized access to private data. Second, identity theft. Using someone's personal information for fraud. Third, cyber squatting. Registering a domain name to exploit someone's identity. Fourth, computer-related fraud. Manipulating data for personal gain. And lastly, data interference. Unauthorized modification or deletion of data. Example scenario. Anna wakes up one morning to find that her social media account has been hacked. The hacker pretends to be her and asks her friends for money. This is a case of identity theft, which is punishable under the Cybercrime Prevention Act. Why is information privacy important? Information privacy protects personal data from unauthorized access, identity theft, and cyber threats. It ensures digital security, builds trust in online transactions, and upholds freedom of expression. Compliance with laws like the Data Privacy Act of 2012, RA10173, prevents misuse and enforces accountability. Strong privacy measures also prevent exploitation, unwanted surveillance, and excessive targeted advertising. Understanding these laws helps us protect our digital rights. Here are some important privacy tips you should follow. First, be cautious about sharing personal information online. Second, use strong passwords and enable two-factor authentication. Third, check privacy settings on social media and other apps. Fourth, avoid clicking suspicious links or downloading unknown files. And last but definitely not the least, data breaches or cyber crimes should be reported to the proper authorities. If you believe your data privacy has been violated, you can contact the local law enforcement or you can contact National Privacy Commission, NPC, at info at privacy.gov.ph or complaints at privacy.gov.ph. You can also personally submit your complaint at the NPC office through its Public Information and Assistance Division. To wrap up, information privacy is a fundamental right that must be protected. Laws such as the Data Privacy Act and Cybercrime Prevention Act play a crucial role in keeping our digital world safe. Always be aware of your rights, practice good privacy habits, and report any violations. Your data, your right. Stay protected. Thank you for watching. Stay safe online.